Good morning guys, day number five today. I slept in a little bit, that happens every once in a while. I was pretty tired. I got breakfast going and it has warmed up to a cool negative three degrees below zero. Fog it up. We're still looking at 20 mile an hour winds at some point today. So if I can get across the lake into a decent area where I think I'll be out of the wind, I think I'm still gonna tr attempt to tow fish today and try for some of those deeper fish. I'm gonna bring the traps actually. If I get a decent area, I could set four traps and do different depths and then go around with the electronics and punch a bunch of holes and try jigging for some too with the electronics. So should be fun if I can get on some togue, man. There's a lot of togue in this lake. The state wants a bunch of the smaller ones out of here. They want us to manage them as ice fishermen. So I'm gonna try for it. That's the plan for today. Gotta drive some breakfast into me first, some hot coffee into me, and then we're off. Okay, change of plans. <laughs> I just went out, I was gonna try to fish on the lee side of Sugar Island, and I got out over there, and man, I had to go through some more slush. Believe it or not, 20 below zero for a couple days, and there's still pockets of slush. But I made it through that, and then there's a pressure ridge over there about five foot high. I couldn't get around, or didn't want to try to risk a, trying to get through it. So I started out towards Deer and Whiskey Island, and the wind was just howling already, and this jacket's not enough. It was going right through this. I gotta get a better jacket. And I just got thinking, I'm like, this is, this is dumb. Slush, wind, getting cold. Morning. Need to borrow an air, an air conditioner to keep you warm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been pretty chilly. Oh my Jesus. Yeah, first morning you was here, it was 20, 20 below. I had, yeah, I had 20 below, and then I think the next morning, the morning after, I had 22 below. Uh, that's, that's this morning, I was only well, six below. Yeah, yeah, that's about what I had. I had like between four and six. Heat, heat wave. Yeah, it actually feels good when you're out of the wind. As long as the wind don't hit you, ain't too bad. Uh, we'll be right within four or five of what we are here. You'll take a light when there's no wind, it will be sometimes 10, 15 degrees warmer. Up at airport, it is here. Oh, that makes sense then. Oh, yeah. They were so far off, but. Yeah. We used to fly a lot of times. It's up there a certain kind of day, it will actually warm up a little. Yeah. And, huh. Well, I got a feeling these mountains make their own weather anyway. Yeah. yeah, it goes where they want it to. Yeah. But yeah, that wind was howling yesterday. Oh, Goodness. Good day. We go to uh, get married on the. Nine months and two days later, I was father. Good for you. <laughs> Hell of a honeymoon. Oh, Jesus. Uh, well, the oven is hot, so I'm going to put a biscuit in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm tired of waiting. Time to move some of these straps around, see if we can force feed these brook trout. All right guys, it's about one o'clock. No flags at all yet. This place is slow. I'm either in a slow, slow area, the lake's slow, or they're not biting, or I just suck. Could be the combination of all the things. But it's one o'clock now. I'm cooking up my favorite lunch ever. It's moose meat from my buddy Jeff's moose. It's actually the last package of moose meat I have from Jeff. So Jeff, if you're watching this, hook a brother up. You know I love you. You know how much I love the moose meat. I take a can of some kind of beef or mushroom gravy, throw it in there with the moose meat, and usually that's it. But today I had some leftover onions and green peppers and mushrooms, so I threw those in there too. And it's gonna be probably the best meal in the history of meals. I'm really excited to eat this. And then after 
lunch, if I haven't had any flags after lunch, I'm gonna go out and move some traps around, see if I can get something going, because this is not productive. That is it for day five, man. Brutal, I can't remember the last day I've ever ice fished without one flag. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I missed the morning because I took that trip, but still, I don't know what else I could have done. I, I moved the inside traps out, I moved the outside traps in, I lifted the bait, I lowered the bait, I moved traps around, but either they're just not feeding or this area is no good. One or the other, because I put it, I put, I did everything I think I could. I'm heading into town tonight to meet a friend. I'm gonna go fish a different location with him tomorrow, him and another friend. Not sure if I could film tomorrow or not. I'm hoping I can, but out of respect for my friend and his spot, depending on what he feels for filming or not. I'm gonna get a shower tonight, gonna sleep under a roof tonight, which, you know, I could give or take on that. It's just a matter of starting together in the morning, bright and early, and being together in the morning. So, should have fun tonight, get a hot shower and back to the home base ice camp tomorrow.